Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry. At Mowers and Blowers! Good morning. It's about 10.30, and it's a lot cooler today. The sun is out, but uh, it's only about 80 degrees today, so a little bit of relief. Uh, we're getting some kind of tropical storm coming uh, the next three or four days uh, during midweek or something. Uh, tropical storm or hurricane Isaias? Whatever. Uh, first one of the season, and it's kind of early too because hurricane season doesn't start un until like September. So we're definitely a month early. Anyway, here it is. This is Jamal Alatet. Can you believe it? This is what was in the backyard for the past six months. Uh, pretty decent transformation. Um, thank you again for everyone voting for the color of uh, Jamal Alatet. Uh, I'm not you know, I wasn't so into black. I was going to paint it all just red, but um, I do what the subscribers tell me to do. And um, what I like mostly about this paint job is um, the wheels. I know some of you guys don't like the white walls, but honestly, back in the day during the hot rod era, right? A lot of the hot rods had red rims and white walls, and uh, it really does make this thing pop. If this was just like the white rims before it would look kind of eh you know uh now that it's in the sun i see that um being cramped in the garage trying to paint and stuff is is difficult to see sometimes when it's dark so uh now that it's out in the day right i could see that there are some spots that i missed and unfortunately i don't have any more paint so uh when i'm when i'm around uh, when i'm out again i might go out and pick up a couple more cans just to touch it up uh, in the meantime, I got to put the uh, light lens back on. As you see here, the sticker, I, I missed this area there because in my mind, when I masked things off, I, I masked that craftsman words on there. I thought, oh, I'm not going to spray that area because it's masked off because why spray masking tape, right? But I forgot that I'm actually trying to paint that. So I, I missed that. There's some parts that I missed, you know? And of course, that's that cheap 98 cent quick color paint. So like I said... Sometimes you require more than one coat on certain areas, you know. Um, there are some rear lights I need to put on. As you saw, I also removed the uh, snow chains on here. I have it listed on my eBay for uh, $28 with like 15 shipping or something like that. Uh, that ought to sell because the new ones are like 50, 60 bucks. It's expensive. Um, there are parts here where the, the rust parts where I scraped off. You could still see the rusty abrasive areas. It's not smooth and stuff. So to make it all completely smooth, you'd have to either do a light bondo on it or um, do a couple of layers of primer to fill that stuff and then wet sand it and <laughs> paint it over again. But I'm not going to do that. It's Jamal Alatat. It's an old tractor, you know what I mean? So um, there are these reflectors that go here. These old reflectors that go on like that. This one's a little damaged, but I want at least a couple of reflectors on there, you know. So I'm going to get some silicone, tape that on there, and uh, let it cure. In addition, I'm going to remove the stencil that I have over here. As you know, I masked off the words Craftsman, the sticker here. But I didn't want to go through the painstaking process of exacto knifing each letter. You know, it's just too much trouble. So I'm just going to take a black marker and cover up the green parts in between the letters. So my neighbors came out and they were checking it out. I want to show you guys something. Look over here. What do you guys see right there? Almost seems like too much of a coincidence for me not to do it, huh? Let me know if you know what the hell I'm talking about.
Well, there you go, fellas. I just decided that uh, it needed something else, you know, just to make it pop a little bit. A little bit of contrast with the black hood. So when I was working on it over here on the outside, my next door neighbor, Steve, he told me that, uh, hey, you should do some kind of flames or something. I said, yeah, that's going to take a long time, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm, I'm artistically inclined, but not enough to, or confident enough to do flames, you know. Flames takes a special talent, you know what I mean? The shading, the airbrushing and all that, a lot of masking, the right pinstriping, you know, you got to have real skills to do that. And, uh, I mean, I just wasn't up to it, you know what I mean? With straight lines, I can do that, you know what I mean? So I put a couple of Shelby red stripes on the hood, right along the vents. I think it came out pretty well. The key was getting the middle straight, okay? And then the rest of it will follow through. If you do the front, you have to do the back. And since the gas cap and funnel area is in the area where it's red, that's got to be red too. So that gives it some contrast. I uh, siliconed those uh, little reflector things on the back and I got to cut out that uh, remaining uh, blobbed out silicone when it dries. But uh, that's it. That looks pretty good, man. But I got another surprise for you. As you guys saw in time lapse, I resurrected the uh, twin sister. You like it? Holy cow! So there it is, fellas. The twin sisters. The Blue Bayou and Jamal Alatet. Jamal Alatet actually turned out pretty good, huh? Considering what I thought, you know? Um, I put a new battery in here. I took it out uh, for about nine months or so because I needed the battery for another project and didn't want to go out and get it, you know? I wasn't driving this thing anyway, you know what I mean? Uh, as some of you uh, older subscribers have known, uh, I redid this about a year and a half ago. It was one of my semi-new projects, you know, that I did. I loved it so much that I, I kept it, you know? Um, I haven't, uh, I've never used this snowplow in the winter, ever, uh, because I finished it a year and a half ago, and for the past two years, we haven't had any snow that's, enough to push you know uh, I had a flat tire on that side over there so uh, I had to pump it up and um, you know I had to take the wheel weight off to get to the nozzle to pump it up then put the wheel weight back on again but uh, honestly I cranked it a little while maybe 20 30 seconds right fired right up man it's been sitting here for almost a year in the garage the box is piled up I keep those boxes there because sometimes I got to ship big stuff on eBay, you know, and I'm always looking for boxes. So when I get the boxes, I keep the boxes until I need them, you know. Uh, but anyway, these two are pretty much identical tractors. Uh, this has got a um, 16 horsepower Vanguard horizontal. I'll show it to you right now for those guys who haven't seen it before. So the snowplow I got um, 
from a trade or something. It came with a, it came with a, a, another tractor, but I didn't think I would ever use it. I don't know what that is. Um, I made it Lucas Oil themed because at the time uh, I was uh, just getting sponsored by them and uh, I wanted to show my appreciation. So it's for like promotional items and stuff like that, the uh, video. So I have them uh, themed as the Lucas Oil one. So uh, my friend Dick W actually uh, named this. He named it the Blue Bayou. And I thought that was pretty cool because it was like, uh, Blue Bayou? What do you mean? Man, did you see Henry? He blew by you! Get it? Uh, anyway, so the... This thing works pretty well. You can shift it left or right, pivoting, right? And then to engage it, you would lift it up, and then the plow would go down and scrape the floor. Uh, I've never used it in real snow, so I really don't know. But this thing runs great. It's got a... Like I said, it... It's got a Vanguard in there, horizontal. And basically the system I got in here is just the big double stack pulley, right? With the big pulley on the bottom meant for a mower deck. That's what's driving the transmission. So it's, it's pretty quick. However, I couldn't use this as a, a, a mower because it's, it doesn't have the pulley on the other side of the flywheel side. But it does have a double stack over there, you know, that's meant for a regular uh, drive. That's the drive pulley for a regular lawn tractor. But I used the big mower deck one to power the belts for the transmission. The tire chains are brand new. I bought them for like 30 bucks locally here. Um, the 12 inch wheel weights I got from Nick from Medford, uh, what I was going to trade them. I had the 8 inch ones, but it wouldn't fit this one. Um, he doesn't, he, he just gave it to me. He didn't want a trade, whatever. Uh, he doesn't need it right now. So, uh, thanks again, Nick from Medford. Uh, that's the gearing system, identical to that one. Uh, now I know one is left, two, three, and reverse, right? So it's a six speed, right? But you only see three gears there. That's because on the other side, that knob over there, this thing shifts to high and low. Right now it's at high. If you wanted to pull, drag things like a stump out of a thing or something like that, you would put it to low gear and it would have a lot more torque to pull whatever you needed to pull. But it, it doesn't go fast. But when you're on the high gear, it goes pretty fast. So it's pretty badass looking. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I never wanted to sell it. You know, it was a pretty good paint job too. That's cobalt blue, by the way. And so now we have the uh, sister over here, the Jamal Alatet. I honestly did not think it was going to look that good, you know. And not that many episodes, too. I think this is like episode six, you know. So it only took me six episodes to do that. And uh, with you, with you guys' help, uh, it came out pretty well. So I'm glad I had the opportunity to bring both of them out side by side to compare. And uh, I want to do a shout out to Bruce Wagner, who uh, donated to the channel yesterday. Thanks very much. And also to Stephen Glasgow of Mooresville, Indiana, for buying uh, a couple of bumper stickers. Thanks very much for supporting the channel, fellas, keeping the videos coming every day. Um, these two tractors I'm very happy with. Uh, I still don't know what I'm going to do about this yet. Um, I'm going to sell it. But what should I sell it for? Should I list it for 1200 Just to test the waters, you know? Let's go for a ride in the Blue Bayou. Ooh, that seat's hot. Woo! That seat is hot, baby.
So how about it, fellas? Went for a ride in both tractors, both garden tractors. Um, Jamal Alatet and uh, Blue Bayou, they both ran great. Uh, I don't know. I almost feel like I don't want to sell it now. Ah, oh, what am I gonna do with it, right? I gotta sell it. You know, I took some pictures on the lawn. I'm gonna list it for an incredible amount of money just to see what happens. I think I'll list it for $13.75. See what happens. You never know, some nut may wanna buy it. Anyway, mailbag. So I got this from uh, Kaiser's Small Engine Repair over in uh, Cleveland, Virginia? I didn't know Virginia had a Cleveland. Anyway, so uh, he sent me some parts over here. See, I believe they're push rods and stuff. Because he saw my episode on the single overhead valve. And he thought I might need some push rods. There we go. Single overhead valve aluminum and steel rods. Got a piston for a 25 through 28 cubic inch engine, Briggs. That's gonna come in handy. Oh, intake and exhaust valves for a uh, 13, 13.5, 12 12.5, 12 um, flathead engine which is what I need to get that third engine going, the flathead. And that does it. Ooh, there's a note. Ooh. So I've got some piston springs in here. Address, return address. Oh, I'm gonna send you some stickers there, Mr. Kaiser. Mr. Henry. Here are the valves, push rods, and connecting rods for the Briggs and Stratton, free of charge. P.S. If you have a couple of stickers you could send me, that would be great. Your friend Kaiser's Small Engine Repair. Thank you very much for voting and following the channel every day and your contribution to the channel. You might be able to get a couple of engines that I have lying around here going for future projects. Thank you very much. Uh, stickers are on the way, baby! So that's it! Jamal Alatet is finished! Can you believe it only took six episodes? And from what it looked like before to what it looks like now? Crazy, right? Uh, I was very happy today to finish up this project and uh, to also get Blue Bayou out running too. You know what I mean? Just threw a battery on there and that was it! That's great. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching the project, fellas. We'll see what happens tomorrow. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.